Hello, everybody. My name is Anthony, and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 Kai's Vegas, the Auto Empire. Let's continue on for last off. So, you might notice that this date is, again, not where we left off. Uh, the reason for that is I had, for the past 25 minutes, recorded an entire episode with my microphone muted. Nothing super important of note happened. Um, the only thing that's really happened is that uh, Iran has fabricated claims in these two provinces. Uh, you are starting to get the third era of Congress, which will probably start to get some unrest building up here. And Serbia, Romania, and Italy have declared war on the Austrians. But really, other than that, nothing too crazy has um, happened. Trezabon, Beirut. I don't know if I want this to happen. Because I'm, I'm worried about revising the constitutions. You know, let's actually do Turkish Industrial Development Bank. Um, so, what else has happened? I, I'm just trying to think. Uh, there were some problems in Assyria, but we've kind of, we've been trying to deal with that. I mean, Basra is at very high. Most other places right now are at none or very low tension. I mean, Hejaz has absolutely no unrest at all. That will probably change once they start doing these decisions here. But... I'm saying, like, in the grand scheme of things, I think we're mostly going to be okay. I think there's going to be less likely for revolts happening um, this campaign than when we were playing at Syria, right? But I think we're handling the situation a little bit better than most. Uh, you're at medium unrest. You're at very, very low. Um, Benghazi is at none. And I don't know... Why do we not like you? They've claimed our territory. You know what? That makes sense. But you do recognize us as Caliph. Shing's clear war on you. Hawaii is joining the international. So overall, I think. I mean, are you? Does it say if you're backing us? You can do your own revolution, unification of Libya. I mean, if you if you are backing us as um, you, you're a puppet. You don't recognize us as Caliph. So I'm, I'm a little bit curious to see how this actually plays out. Uh, so the war in China. The Qing are now... Oh no, they were at war with somebody, but I think that war's already over. Uh, research slot, let's go for... Concentrated Industry 3 seems decent. Russia was a, uh, is at war with the Orden, Don Cuban Union. Oh, and Ukraine did go syndicalist. And are currently at war with the Reichs Pact. So we'll kind of see how that plays out as well. They have a pretty small front line. And protests have escalated in Jerusalem. So the MOJ is having some problems. But of course, this cannot fire until October 1st. So we, we, hopefully, by the end of this episode, I'm hoping to be in a situation where the war is about to begin. Anti-Zionist protests in Baghdad. Organized by students of the Baghdad Law College and Iraqi groups such as the Young Muslim Society, protests are rocking uh, the capital of the Iraqi region. They're expressing their outrage towards the increasing Zionist elements of the MLJ and calling for all Muslims in the empire to protect their Palestinian brethren from this threat. So you are now at medium. Which I don't like, to be honest. Like, don't, let me just be honest with you. We'll have less authority, but revolt risk will decrease if I try to... Give you guys more independence. Saudis encroach on the Al Barami Oasis. Placed on the border between Muscat and the former Trusal states, ownership over the Oasis has been contested affair for many generations between the Sultans of Muscat and the Emirs further north. With the conquest of the later by Ibn Saud, he has taken over these old clans and using them for his own machinations. It is no secret, however, that the Ibn Saud has no, is not planning to stop his advance after tweaking the Oasis, and by claiming that they are once part of a great Wabi estate, he will surely not stop until the city of Muscat is ablaze and the vile Iqlan is slaughtered that all, uh, so has slaughtered all that oppose him. As further uh, expansion of the Saudis and the class of the friendly Arab government would do would greatly harm Ottoman interests in the region, the Wali of Baghdad and Basra have requested assistance from the central government to defend the sovereignty of the Sultan of Muscat. We'll lose 10% war support. But I would definitely back you if you would actually join our faction. Creation of the state airline general directorate. We get some uh, air experience. I don't think we really need to worry that. And you have... Okay, so we're guaranteeing Muscat now. Entering positivity to our offer, the Wali of Baghdad sent orders to the uh, fleet of the Basra to steam for Muscat and assist the Sultan. 
Led by Rupasha, the expedition force furthermore consists of 1,500 soldiers from the Ottoman Sixth Army and the German-produced armored cars fit for desert warfare. Whilst not included as part of the military ex uh, um, expedition, representative of the Turkish Petroleum Company and various members of the bureaucratic corps of at Basra have been sent along to influence the Moscow government and hopefully retrieve a reward for our assistance. So we'll back you just in case, but I don't think anybody likes to go to war with you. I mean, you're pressuring Oman right now. If Moscow does not find a foreign protect port, uh, okay. So if Moscow does not have uh, find anybody, they just get a war goal for free. If the Ottomans or that we back them, they have a decision to get a cost of the belly. Okay. So Arab national joining the opposition, the Syrian League of National Action. Rumors have been brewing for a while now after the electoral defeat of the decentralist fact uh, coalition in 1935, uh, for of a new party of second generation Syrian nationalists. Promising to be young, dynamic, and are different from the traditional Damac uh, Damascus parties, uh, this new party has today announced the public under the leader uh, Ahmad Sharbati, uh, you know, a bunch of people, as the League of a National Action. In opposition to the old elites, deeply ingrained with the Ottoman civil system, a new party promises to be the voice of Syrian youth and has worked together with other Arab nationalist forces to hasten the autonomy uh, Syria has been striving for, likely influenced by Egyptian rhetoric. The League of National Action has also embraced the Kwame or greater Arab uh, identity. As opposed to a Syrian focus on Hadi energy of the Damascus elite. Despite the enthusiasm, however, so far interest in the region outside of Syria and has been lukewarm at best, even within Syria, the message doesn't seem to be reaching much further than Damascus. So we are losing a little bit of support from the Arab nationalist. Which I don't think is so, so bad. You are. The conservatives will hate us, so you know what? Why not just get some free infrastructure? We don't really lose anything from that. And Qing's going to war on Anqing, which declares war on the Fenian government. So I'm going to lean more towards you're not going to win, but I don't know. And Qing government recognized Fenian government as the leader of China. How are you guys doing, by the way? Have you invaded? Romania actually is not declared war on Hungary, even though Serbia is at war with Hungary. I, again, I, I think Romania is worried about AI units on this border. But we'll kind of see how things kind of still play out. Also, it looks like Middle Africa has completely collapsed. Which is surprising. Didn't... Am I, am I confused? Didn't the Middle Africa go for the um, conservatives? I'm surprised it collapsed, to be quite honest with you. But either way, I, I think this is actually still completely fine. Because I think some of you might might be able to join up with our um, faction in the future. Wadi, Mali, Niger, Mauritania, Zanzibar. I mean, I know Zanzibar is down here. They're at war with you. We can also invite you at some point, but of course they can need to actually survive the wars. And I, and I don't know how likely that is to happen. Okay, so let's go for Advanced Machine Tools. Infantry uh, Weapons 1 is about to finish. After that... Do we have any military focuses yet? No, so we should actually probably go... Um... I think we're going to go for a Grand Battle Plan. anti zionist actions in Iraq. Uh, after protests were ultimately quelled by the Wali of Baghdad for their disruptive nature, various Arab and Muslim groups expressed their grief in different ways. Days and mornings have been declared, prayers recited for, different s for the souls who have perished in Palestine, and the newspapers uh, appear, boarded in b appear boarded in black. Even more disturbing is romantic attachment to the flag of the failed Arab revolt, which has regularly started to show up across gatherings. Although its use is officially banned by the state, many Arab Air Jaramandre units are refusing to intervene, causing its distribution to increase at a rapid pace. Look, okay? I, I, I just want everybody to be my friends. You took a war on Abiland? Oh, you actually annexed! I didn't know this could happen, but again, I don't think I've actually seen Middle Africa collapse in a while, so... I mean, this is definitely interesting. You are a part of the Entente, you'll probably annex this guy. You might even have the backing of uh, the Portuguese there. MLJ's fault at further immigration. There's been a failed coup in Cairo. I mean, that seems okay. 
and a murder in Baghdad. Essentially, continuing to mount the Yemen today, an aggressive action is undertaken by the international Mount Germandre. Relations between the Jew Muslims and Jews within the Ottoman Empire are starting to deteriorate. Last week, two Jews, Jews were shot dead in the streets of Baghdad by unknown persons, either for personal or political motives. A few days later, another Jew was killed, uh, prompting demand for the Jewish community in the city for the Jeremiah to, for Jeremiah to protection, with which the Wali complied. Although further attacks have thus not has thus far not occurred, this only further confirms fears of increasing instability in the Mashriq. Look, I just want us not to have too many major problems, okay? And we'll go. I think I just want this Max Entrenchment plus five. Chief Rabi denounces Zionist program, continued attacks on Jewish community in Baghdad, and threats of local newspapers demanding that the Rabi express his opposition to the Zionist project. And international jury in general has forced the chief Rabi of the city to ultimately comply. Uh, with further, with, okay, yada yada yada, Baghdad will decrease. Um, chief Rabbi Hamin Ishik denounces as MLJ. I usually not meant to easily react to political developments with the Empire. The chief of Con Rabbi of Constantinople has decided to openly proclaim his support for the army government in her attempts to reintegrate the Palestinian region. Uh, referencing the long and mutually cooperative history with, of Jews within the Ottoman system, he has attacked the Zionists who primarily, whose primarily European mindset has no, have no idea of the damage they are inflicting on relations between the Muslims and Jews in the Orient. Uh, support for the rabbis in Yemen, Baghdad, and Tripolitani have arrived in arrived at the chief rabbinite in the capital as they are to express uh, in the capital as they too experience increasing anti jewish attacks caused by agitated Muslim population of the empire. Although the words are unlikely to have an attempt on policy in the region, it's the last in a long it's the last in a long of desperate attempts to de escalate tensions. Okay, you've been annexed. You'll probably try to reaffirm authority, uh, Ottoman authority. I mean, that's really the only thing you can actually have to do left, other than try to um, run a Jewish land acquisition. And there's more violence in the MOJ. We get some more war support. And Society for the Defense of Palestine forms. Uh, Society for the Defense of Palestine from earlier this week, primarily creating the collection of donations of the Arab uh, fighting in Palestine. They have her. Important conduit for internationalism. Nonetheless, taking action against the group may be dangerous as the family connection between the founder and the Bagadi Wali and war hero could ultimately could lead to unfortunate consequences not handled carefully. Baghdad right now is at medium. Get him down to low. Because right now, uh, like I, I think, I mean, you you're gonna have some problems. You'll be done in two more days. Then you'll get this one going. Then you'll probably do this one next. And then you'll have no more choice other than to uh, organize the conquest of Haifa. Haifa unrest will increase. We get more war support. I mean, you're still at very low. So you, even if your unrest is like... It's not so bad, honestly. Like, Rogue Legion and the Liberal Pact. We got more troops deploying in this army here. I mean, Egypt... Right now, it's 5 to 22 divisions. So they actually have about the same number of troops as I do in Blue Army. Which is good to know. American Union States looking pretty weak. Canada's probably going to intervene soon enough. Based around the uh, illustrious uh, Sultan Samir I, who conquered the entire Mamluk Sultan in the early 16th century, Turkish and Arab intellectuals have come together to press the Sultan for a resolution of the Palestinian crisis. Organizing debates, political fora, and teaching local Arabs uh, the ties binding Turks and Arabs together over the last few centuries. A large focus is placed upon teaching about the history of the Ottoman Palestine and the prosperity it has encountered under the wing of the Caliph. Some have, however, described the association, calling it a propaganda stunt of the Constantine government, who is finding it harder and harder by the day to find support for the Ottoman ideology. Foreign observers, in the meanwhile, have called it a stunt by the Grand Vizier to increase support amongst the population for military intervention in the region. We're getting more war support. We're now at 32%. Not enough to change any of these plans yet, because we don't have enough war support. We could get war propaganda. But it's usually just better to get war propaganda once you're actually um, at war with the country, because it's, it's like half price, or it's twice as good, something like that. The Saudi Omani War. No, wait, Musk had declared war on you? Protests in Haifa. Wait, no, Musk, here's the thing. If you declare war on Nej, I can't help you. You see how that could be a problem? Protests in Haifa. So you're now probably low then, right? 
yeah, I mean, it's, it's low, it's not horrible. Muscat, I, I just don't know why you'd be the one to attack. It seems incredibly backwards to me, because now you're just going to get steamrolled by the Saudis. Okay, Hunger is annexed. Yeah, I just don't... I don't really know, to be honest. It's kind of my main concern here. Because here's the thing, like, Muscat, if you... I could probably send you volunteers. But I can only send you, like, one division. I could probably send you some aircraft. I can, I can send you 40 planes. I'm assuming that... Unrest will increase in Syria. The Damocles project. We're trying to give you, like, some air support, but... I mean... Come on now. Like, I, I just don't know really what you were expecting. Beijing's fallen. We're gonna give air support for, uh... You guys, but I mean, like, I, I don't know... What? No, I don't... Look, I don't need to... An a Ukraine's not declared war on... Or, no, Russia declared war on Ukraine... Not a major surprise, because they are basically uh, completely exposed. I mean, Romania is doing an okay job. Patagonia's worker fronts capitulated, so yeah, Argentina is doing pretty well down in the south. Nabilan's going to fall to South Africa soon. And I can't justify a war, because we need to be at 75% world tension, which of course we're, uh, we're currently not at. I mean, the entire... Um, Arabian border is basically abandoned. The Dutch have had a revolution. Like, France, this would be the time to attack, I would say. Dutch and Indies to join the Reich's Pact. All I would say is that France, like, this is when I would attack into, um, into Germany. Like, it, this has to be their weakest state, right? They're at war over here, they're at war over here. If you start the second Wildkrieg, you'd be looking pretty good, I would say. When I mean, Ukraine won't survive, like that's it's just not happening. And Turkestan will probably be killed pretty soon. These are also some uh, pretty funky borders you've got have uh, established here. So Egypt, I mean, you're actually holding out decently well, I would say. I mean, better than I would th would have thought. Not enough manpower for garrisons. We're missing a little bit of infantry equipment. But, I mean, it's not so, so bad. We're still at 41 out of 40. Hmm. I'm going to shrink you one more province. You come up here. Yeah, you are, like, your Muscat's going to die, as unfortunate as that is. Burma joined the Eastern Syndicalist Union. Does that mean anything? I don't know. I'm trying to think, do I need you guys here, or do I need you to fight Persia? I mean, eventually I'm going to need to fight both. Like, there's no doubt about that. I mean, could, what, what are we missing? We're missing steel? A little bit of steel, but not too much. The fall of Nizwa. Moscow becomes a puppet of us. The, we do lose our political power and war support. But the fall of Nizwa. All the troops under Admiral Raf Pasha were sent to defend the entirety of Muscat and, from, and Oman from the encroaching force of Il Basad. The strong resistance of the Omani interior against Ottoman troops on their soil has led to them exerting little protection outside the urban centers of the Muscati coastline. These tribes loyal to the Oman and Nizwa have certainly continued fighting the Ikhwan on their own, but have earlier today been forced to surrender to the Ibn Sa'd. When their capital fell uh, after a two-week siege, gruesome reports of Ikhwan soldiers gutting open Ibali resistance fighters and a trail of destruction left in the wake, most notably in Nizwa, which was burnt to the ground, has frightened the Ottoman detachment and the Sultan of Muscat alike. 
Rob Pasha, believing that the only way to protect Muscat is a greater automatic commitment to the theater, has requested further reinforcement from Basra and has drafted plans to sideline the Sultan and establish the Ottoman army as a real authority on the ground. Having lost a significant portion of their fighting power, there's little mo that the Muscats can do to resist, but have in constant express their. Yeah, I mean. You've ended hostilities. You are now my puppet state. So I mean, that's, this is actually this is interesting. Actually, you're now my puppet. I'm going to back you as much as I possibly can. I mean, you've you've lost the interior, but I mean, we still got the exterior. We don't need these planes up here anymore. We'll we'll send you guys up towards the north. Like this whole area, like it's going to fall during the war. Like there's no doubt about that. Nigeria taking states. You're gonna take Hashland probably pretty easily as well. I'm just um I'm curious. Because we need political power in order to pass He wants to demobilize the economy. So you don't have war support. You'll be done in 109 days. But okay, here's the thing, like, war support should boost back up once we're at war with Egypt. Or world tension goes up a little bit more, because right now we're 22%. I mean, Romania and Serbia are still doing, like, a decent job. But I mean, Serbia might lose Belgrade, which is probably not, not great for them. Cuba joined the Reich's Pact. The Dutch are going to die soon enough. I, I'd be surprised if they could last for, you know, too much longer. I'm actually wondering if not choosing a focus next might be the best choice for us, just so we can boost our political power up as much as we possibly can. Because we're getting 1.16 if we weren't taking a focus. And honestly, I, I think that might be for the best. Because you'll be done in 50, a little bit less than 50 days, I think. Will the war begin in 50 days? Right now, it's June 27th. I, I don't really know. Could we get some steel? Could we get some rubber? You guys, of course, are all still fighting it out. The Qing government is going to get absolutely destroyed very, very soon. I'd be surprised they last for uh, too much longer. Yeah, Don Kuban Union is about to fall apart. Ukraine's about to fall apart. And CNT is, I mean, they're doing better than I would expect, honestly. Legion of Italy is doing a decent job against um, the Austrians. If they can, like, push Vienna or take Trees, we might see them peace out. But, I mean, I think Romania is now starting to get pushed back a little bit. Serbia did lose Belgrade. You can do a bit of war. I just want to know what you actually do. Idris returns to the throne. You puppet them, and you join the Cairo Pact. Exile Prince of the Sunnah Order, Idris I, has returned to himself post exile in Cairo. How many troops? You have four divisions? This, okay, this worries me. I'm gonna send you down here. I know this is gonna be like not great for us. I I think I put down the order because I want to have a dual front with the um. We have two percent war support, but I think we kind of have to push our way up to here. Our units are making their way over. And now that we're at war, we could raise units. Well, we do lose 30 army experience, so it's probably like, not fantastic. Maybe what if we want to put troops into Bang like Benghazi? Germany and Ukraine's ended hostilities. Really? 
I don't know why they would end hostilities, because I think they were winning, but shows what I know. Send the cavalry up to here. What's your capital? Capital is this province here. When will you land in Benghazi? You'll be landing in Benghazi in one day, one hour. You will get there in one day, one hour. So you get there like the exact same time. When will you be here? 21 hours. You'll be here in two days, four hours. You should survive. Dummy Kingdom was annexed. I mean, I guess because we're at war, we're not going to get demobilized the economy. So I guess we don't actually need this up right now. My question is, like, how bad is being five divisions over? The 3% penalty. But I don't think it's actually so bad. Okay, throw you all into this front. Go to here and then go to there. Muscat, thank you for the for the uh, the rifles. I do appreciate it. Okay, you're gonna attack here. We want to be because I think this is the entirety of your army, right? If I can quickly kill you off, this episode's gonna go a little bit longer. Don't worry about it. I mean, you, you, I'm assuming if you're watching this video, you probably are appreciating that the video is going to be a little bit longer. We've taken your city. You just clear war in Turkestan. You are now at 45% towards capitulation. Armenian Yemen could call them in. Of course, our political power is absolutely in the, in the trash can right now. But what can you do about that? Okay, I think once you're here, this should be capitulation. Might as well start taking over the rest of these provinces. No, you're at 24%. So you're one of the countries that has, like, so few victory points that we kind of need to start taking over stuff. Yeah, so let's start taking over random provinces. Annex all the Tripoli. Use this as a front line against the Egyptians. And we should hopefully be good. I don't think there's any airports here, right? No, there is. There's one in uh, Benghazi. Which is important to note. Also, thank you for like 2,000 rifles. I do appreciate that. Oh, Egypt. Egypt, Egypt, Egypt. What a mistake that you have committed. Because now, now we've just got a whole... A whole like uh, part of Africa. We draw directly on your border. But I do think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching my Swam. If you enjoyed, run a thumbs up. Not joking, close thumbs down. You can also subscribe and goodbye.